Hi, Magicsoft again, and today I'm gonna show you the simulation of the lunar landing in the NASP version 8. This is the alpha stage. The lunar module is working progress, but it's getting this progress real nicely. So there are many systems that work. There are some systems that do not work. So this is all work in progress state. This is not the final state of the lunar module. That's the first thing I want you to know, and I think we are ready to go for the PDI. So I unpause the simulation, this is the time to go. And uh, I just turn off all those helping displays, and let's take a look on the AGC, the EDA. Virtual AGS is working. Uh, and let's begin with the preparations. So we gonna press the circuit breakers. I think I'm doing it right, but I'm not sure. And uh, just fire the explosive bolts in case there are not uh, yet fired. I'm not sure if they are fired already or not. Get the RCS working, and soon we will be getting the engine working. Uh, descend engine override just tie the buses because there is a uh, quite a big difference as you can see between the captain and the second pilot bus which isn't good at all because it's gonna unevenly discharge our batteries now we got this evenly balanced and take a look at the disky disky blanks and soon we'll be getting final countdown mark 25 seconds right now we got the altitude light came in which means that we have not got uh, the landing radar data yet just arming the descent engine Make sure everything is ready and soon we'll be pressing Pro to enable automatic ignition. RCS fires Pro. We are going for the bar. We got ignition. 10% thrust. Just set the gauging 95% of the fuel. The mission timer is running. We'll be soon getting Prato up command to the full thrust. And here it comes. Full thrust. And let's decode the HC right now. So the first we got the program 60. First thing we got the program 63. Very 06 non 63. So let's take a look at what all those lines mean this is the altitude difference between landing radar and GNS which we don't care right now because we don't got the landing radar data yet so this is the altitude rate and this is the altitude computed by the GNS and I'm not sure what is the uh, DDA showing right now this is the address of the memory cell and this is the content of the memory cell but I had to take a look at the flight program 6, the board guidance system manual to figure out what is this memory cell indicating actually. And well, I'm gonna show you the ECS that has been freshly implemented. And here we got the upper hatch lever to unlock this. This is the pressure relief valve. It's used to bend uh, the atmosphere through the hatch to the tunnel or we can pressurize the tunnel with this thing and uh, it also works uh, It uh, works uh, as a valve to pressurize the uh, tunnel to depressurize the cabin and it works as a pressure relief for now Here we got the water management section flow for the evaporators, primary, secondary, here we got the uh, descent H2O valve, ascent H2O valve, 
and here we got the selection uh, for the water that goes to the evaporators. Here we got the temperature control for the LGC and for the suit. Here we got the suit disconnect, this is the oxygen module, this is the high flow valve that quickly they can quickly release oxygen to the cabin for the represent emergencies. This is the these are the pressure regulators that maintain the cabin pressure at the right pressure and here we got the valves for the ascent and descent oxygen tanks, primary life support system field and here is the circuit, circuit relief so it, it dumps excessive pressure from the suit circuit in kind of some failure of the pressure regulator or whatever down to the cabin and here is the cabin gas return which uh, allows the cabin gas to go out into the suit circuit. This is the diverter we can select if we want to the cabin and the suit circuit. Here is the connected, here is disconnected, it closes automatically when the cabin depressurizes the vent loss of uh, the oxygen from the suit circuit. Valuable for the life of course. So let's start with verb uh, verb uh, 16068 enter five and a half minutes to change of the program to the next program program 64 from what I recall key release it is activated display key release means that the extended verb is when the extended verb is active the display is from the extended verb and not from the program now we got a Play from the program, we disable the extended verb, and now we gonna ver input verb 57, and this is the this will store to get this value lowered, and the lens integrator will be in updating the PGNS data from lens integrator be updating the GNS, this is essential because we never, uh, just like for the real life, we will never get this thing aligned perfectly, it's never perfect, you know, like in the real life, uh, we got the emulated HC, we got the optics, with all those systems, materialistic, let's take a look through the optics, that's how it looks, really nice and here we got the attitude from the AGS here we got from the PGNS and it's all looking good altitude light is extinguished this means that the lens degrader is providing altitude also the velocity as the velocity light is extinguished here is our thrust to weight ratio in our gravity units, so now we are uh, just uh, little more than uh, two and a half uh, times the lunar gravity. And it's pretty nice, it's pretty awesome how this engine performs. It's more than enough powerful for the landing, the abort and so on, even when it has full fuel, it goes about two times the lunar gravity, so that's a plenty of power. As you can see, we have the this value started to converge pretty nicely. Okay, wait, 90,000. Uh, that's about thousand and a half difference. Yeah, that's about thousand and a half. going good come and go right on pick up for to use this ok and we are going to land soon our approach phase almost started soon we will getting the pitch over we still got about a thousand difference Oh, that's below 1000, it's not that bad, it's not that bad, 
Oh, that's just the bandy cam stopped recording because that's the free version that records only 10 minutes and I have to start the recording again. Okay, the energy thrust has decreased. Uh, we're going 10,000 mark. And we got this pretty much converged right now. The difference isn't big at all. Oh, that's 500. It's not that good anyway, but I hope this is gonna converge in time. It's important to key in ver 57 early enough, so we got this converged in time. Okay, now we got the ending display. We're gonna enable the LTD. We can redesign it our landing site through the controller. I don't want to do this right now. I will be trying to land manually because uh, that's how I trying to do this. I will soon get to the attitude hold mode. That's the LPD. It shows 54, so we're gonna land about there. We're over here. Zero six now sixty-four. Okay, 48, about there, 47, about there. It shows us where we're gonna land in this vertical axis, 33, so about there, and so on. We can change this with the controller. 70% fuel, 39, about there, 38. So, get to the attitude hold and ready to get the manual throttle. Yes, I know I shouldn't uh, use the manual throttle. That's not the way it's meant to be. But uh, I know it's gonna be a mistake, but I'm gonna try this anyway. I hope I wouldn't crash this. Okay, let's get this thing aligned. The velocity is going okay. Gonna dump the forward velocity. As soon go we will be going to the Okay, okay, dump the velocity, dump it, dump it. Oh yes, come on. And I just gonna use the rent of the send switch. This is our forward velocity I believe. Altitude rate and altitude. Oh no, the velocity is going out of control. No, 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 no. And manual throttle right now. Where it is? Here. So come on. Come on, come on. Velocity isn't bad. Okay, we are descending, descending, descending. Des oh, we are ascending. No, 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 no. Okay, the velocity is okay, okay, okay. Landing. Lunar contact, engine off. Command. And Houston, the Eagle has landed. That's gonna disarm the engine. Command override off. Disengage the control of the RCS's engine gimbal. Reset this. 30, 34, 37, enter 00 to terminate the program. And here we are. I hope you like the video. Oops, the hatches are. This is actually a bug because the external motor is still working in progress. They are in fact close as you can see we got the pressure right. So don't you worry about this. We have just landed and I hope you like the video. And the landing wasn't that bad as I expected. <laughs> in fact it was a little or even much better than I was expecting to do this. So I wanted it wouldn't be configuring the switches to the lunar stay position. It would be quite boring. Uh, if you want to see something uh, new, if you want, if you, if you have any request, uh, 
on what you want to see in the next uh, parts you can always make a request in the comments i appreciate your comments and thanks for watching